On today's menu is a healthy recipe using black-eyed peas. But whenever we hear the word healthy, we think of something very bland and boring. But that is not the case today. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. I soaked overnight about a third of a cup of black-eyed peas in water, along with a heaped teaspoon of salt. The next morning, I drained out all that water, added about a tablespoon of red lentils. And what the red lentils do here is that it gives a thickness to the gravy. Rinse everything with some fresh tap water and you are ready for the next step. Pressure cooker out. Add the black-eyed peas along with the red lentils. Chopped onions. Finely chopped ginger. And 3 cups of hot water. Then lid on and pressure cook it for 20 minutes if using an instant pot or 15 minutes if using a stovetop pressure cooker. Once pressure cooking is done, all that pressure needs to be released naturally and then open the lid of your cooker. As you can see, the peas have become soft and buttery. Pan on medium heat, 2 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil turns hot, lower the heat to low and add cumin seeds that is jeera. Stir the cumin seeds for just a second and then add tomato puree. Guys, be very careful because there will be a splatter when the puree hits that hot pan. I pureed four large red ripe tomatoes in my blender, but you can even use about a third of a cup of store-bought tomato puree. Keep it on medium-low heat till most of that water evaporates and the oil leaves the sides. In the meantime, I will fry the broccoli. Now you may leave out the broccoli, but I love adding some greens to this. And I have learned this from some of my viewer friends. Some of you tell me how you've made my chickpea or tofu recipes more interesting by adding some vegetables. And I love that idea. This is how we learn so much from one another. So please feel free to try my recipes putting your own twist into them. But please don't forget to share that with me. Okay, I added the broccoli to the hot oil, added some salt and then lid on medium heat. From time to time give a stir to check that nothing is burning. You want them to be tender but they should still have that little bit of crunch on them and holding on to their shape and color. My broccoli is done and will be now waiting for everything to come together. Coming back to the tomato puree. It has started to thicken up but we want that oil to be released. Now if you watch closely, you can see that oil is starting to come out. This is when you know that the puree is well fried and you can add other ingredients. Time for chopped garlic to go in. Stir for a minute. And then the black eyed piece tumble down along with all that water in which it was cooked. Salt goes in, followed by red chilli powder. I used Kashmiri red chilli powder, which is mild in terms of heat level. You can even use paprika if you do not want that heat. Next in line is Kasuri methi that is dried fenugreek leaves. Always crush it before adding to release its flavor. Now cover on low heat for 10 minutes. 10 minutes done, lid off and time for garam masala powder to make its entry to perfume the dish. And then to take this dish to that ultimate level of creaminess, I added coconut milk. Now if you are someone who doesn't like coconut milk or if you are not following a plant based diet, then you can even use cooking cream. My husband dislikes the flavor of coconut, but I always use this coconut milk and he just cannot make it out. And guys, this is not a sponsored video, but I just love using this coconut milk. And if you have somebody in your family who dislikes coconut, then just use one or two tablespoons of coconut milk, not more than that. That will be enough to bring in that creaminess. At the same time, the coconut haters won't get that slightest hint as well. Ok, cover on for 8 minutes.
After 8 minutes, plate it out. But hold on guys, still more to come. Top it with more coconut milk if you like. Or don't even think of doing that if you are serving it to somebody who dislikes coconut. The broccoli finally gets to sit on top after that long waiting period. And then one final step. Heat a tablespoon of oil in a pan. Lower the heat to low when you see the oil is smoking. Then add some chopped coriander leaves and red chili flakes. And add this sizzling goodness on top. Please smash that like button for me and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.